Hello and welcome to News Up Now. I'm Brian Thompson and we begin this edition with President Donald Trump and House Speaker Paul Ryan. They have been lobbying members of the conservative House Freedom Caucus and also moderate Republicans in an attempt to reach 216 votes they need to pass the health bill. According to CNN's ongoing whip count, 26 House Republicans have said they will vote against the bill and four more have indicated they are likely to oppose it. Though negotiations were ongoing today and tomorrow the House hopes to vote on legislation to repeal and replace Obamacare. Now in London, police now know the identity of the terrorist who killed three people last Wednesday, the deadliest terror attack to hit the UK in 12 years. His name is Khalid Massoud. An American man and a British woman of Spanish origin were killed when Massoud rammed a rental car onto the sidewalk of Westminster Bridge. Massoud then stabbed an unarmed police officer as he stood guard at carriage gates, an entrance into a cobbled courtyard frequently used by members of parliament and staff. An ISIS-affiliated news agency claimed the attack last Wednesday. 29 people were taken to a hospital, 7 people remain critically ill, and 2 are in a life-threatening condition. Now, we are continuing in London, but with a different story. A designer has developed a face mask for children to protect them from city's toxic air. Stuart McDill reports. Six-year-old Yusuf now feels slightly safer on his walk to school. He's wearing a new face mask designed especially for children in London to protect him from the city's polluted air. His mother says the mask is the least he deserves. Why is it? Face mask is important because it kind of you want to prevent your children from um, taking these, you know, their pollution into their lungs and affecting them. Especially like if if, if my son maybe can develop uh, asthma in the future, having me have uh, asthmatic. So um, yeah, anything to prevent from pollution and trying to reduce them having um, this bad air to their lungs definitely is that any mom or any parents would do for their children. I think this is the minimum you can do. The masks are the brainchild of Tian Trams, whose concern over London's poor air quality turned into a passion to try to protect young developing lungs. Um, you know, as adults it affects us, but not as heavily as it was what it does children. Uh, and the main reason for that is because their lung development isn't to the point, uh, you know, where it's fully developed like an adult. So they are affected almost, I think, 60 or 70 percent worse. Uh, so I did a lot of research into cotton, the types of cotton, the intertwined cotton, uh, different layers of cotton, and how many you really have to have together for it to do something. And the way my masks are made with the two separated layers of cotton and the way that the fabric is woven is actually scientifically proven to reduce between 40 to 60 percent of these particle intakes. Air pollution kills nearly 9,500 Londoners every year, according to King's College London. Britain's High Court, even ruling government measures to tackle the problem, fail European Union rules on nitrogen dioxide limits. The response? A new £10 a day tax on older, dirtier vehicles coming into force later this year. Yusuf's message to the Prime Minister? A plea for cleaner air. I should say we should stop everyone from throwing rubbish on the floor and um, we get a lot of electric cars so they don't make that, that bad air pollution. Back in the Bay Area, the ARC San Francisco is offering support and open path to adults with developmental disabilities. Here's Glates and Martins with the story. If you are walking on Castro Street, posing for a photo, you should check out the Castro Street Art Saves Lives Studio and Gallery. Today, Students from the ARC San Francisco have some of their work on display. And she's based off of myself because you can tell the head on top of the, the snake's body represents me. And the body of the snake represents um, my Chinese zodiac, the year of the snake, because I'm the year of the snake. The program serves over 750 adults with Down's syndrome. 17 of them are showing their work at this gallery. For this arts director, the students get a new sense of identity. We're working with a population that is often ostracized in our culture, you know, looked down on, seen as um, less than fully human. Um, so we're seeing that um, as our clients develop as artists, 
um, express themselves, have unique points of view, unique styles. Um, as you can see, we have lots of red dots next to the work, so as they um, uh, sell their work and are valued as artists, they get a whole new um, sense of themselves and sense of identity. Paul has three paintings of himself as a drag queen. He was a little bit shy during our interview. It's me. As? As Kenny Delight. After working in another gallery in the Mission District in San Francisco, Tomasina was offered this place. And it is open to all. I like everybody to be in the space, disabled, um, all groups. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it works that way for everybody. And if you'd like to find out more about the ARC in San Francisco, visit thearcsf.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.